So yeah, it's just a no, no cool. They were saying the customer was saying it was struggling to keep up. Line set feels really cold here. Suction line, almost too cold. Almost like they have airflow issues going on. Really cold. I mean, it feels like ice. Numbingly cold. So, you know, based off of this type of stuff, I'd imagine the filter might be dirty. I'm going to go ahead and put the put my probes on, check the temperatures, uh, temperatures and pressures. Let me get my psychrometer deployed. And, oh, I'm scared. Me. Go ahead and pop a hole in one of these here. Good to go. And I'll go ahead and put the return. So it's cool, they've got static pressure ports all throughout here. Let's use it for return. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is go outside and check my um, pressures and line temperatures and see what we've got. See here, this is actually the single filter slot. Oh yeah, I need, I need to check pressures. Look at that. Look at that. I did it. All right. So that's the unit. Let's see what our pressures and temperatures look like. First of all, let's check a look at that split. So we got a new filter in there. Um, it's crazy. It said it's been a year since that thing has been replaced. So. Who would have figured, right? 22 degree split, so we're still kind of low on our airflow, more than likely. The yeah, airline feels a whole heck of a lot better.
outdoor probe as usual. I really do enjoy running an outdoor psychrometer. Uh, helps out a lot. So, so far we've got... Pressures look pretty decent. It was pretty much just that filter as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to let that run. It's only been running for about five minutes now. Matter of fact, while I'm letting this stabilize, I'm going to go ahead and check my volts and amps and things and check my power factor, which is an indicator of capacitor health. I always like to check the disconnect first. See, I can just access that pretty easily. So now all I have to do put my clamp around one of these lines. So we got her on watts. Just check across the load side. 0.91. I always took both ways. Whatever way is the highest is the proper polarity. So you have 0.91. Not bad. We'll check our amps as well. So 240 volts and 13 amps. So our pressures are pretty much, temperatures and pressures are well locked in. You can go ahead and capture those. Split, 22 degrees. This thing is running really good. Everything looks within range. It's a mismatched coil, so 13 degrees of subcooling is probably, probably good. Take a look at our approach, it's right in the, right in the money. Right on target. Temp split, 22 degrees. Looking good. It's calling for 15 degrees subcooling, so... 14.7, I'd say we're, we're good. So she's rocking, guy. Okay? That was a quick call. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if they want to do a maintenance, because they're obviously not um, concerned of taking care of the system as far as just their upkeep. Coils look pretty dirty, as you can see there. So, yeah, other than that, we're done for today. On to the next one, guys. See you.